AI agents are everywhere these days. I mean, at least here on social media. And there is no shortage of frameworks and platforms to build them. But the real magic happens when we enable agents to talk to each other, no matter who built them or what tech they use. That's where the agent to agent protocol, short A2A, initiated by Google, comes in. It's an open standard for agents to discover, delegate and collaborate across ecosystems. Let's take a look. Think of starting a WhatsApp group with a bunch of super smart friends to tackle a project. They've never met, so everyone shares a quick intro, what they are good at, how to reach them and what they can help with. And then they decide amongst each other who is working on which subtasks based on their skills. How does that translate to agents in A2A? Well, in A2A, each agent simply describes what it can do with something called an agent card. Think of a digital business card for AI. Here's what I can do. Here's how to reach me. But agents don't just chat. They send structured tasks to each other. These tasks have a clear start and end and might take a while if something complex needs to happen. Everything an agent sends, whether it's a message, a file, a result, is broken into so-called parts in A2A. Both sides agree on what type of content they're exchanging. It's like saying, hey, I'm sending a PDF or this will be plain text. And the cool part, with A2A, agents can work together on stuff without knowing each other's inner workings or even what framework, programming language or vendor the other is built on. Imagine you plan a vacation. Your personal assistant agent checks your calendar, chats with the booking.com agent to find a hotel and then gets flight options from the Skyscanner agents and so on. That's the magic of A2A. The future of AI is agent ecosystems, not solo bots. But be aware, while A2A is getting a lot of buzz, especially here on social media, the reality still looks a little bit different. I have not seen it anywhere even near to production. And the ecosystem, especially the tooling, is immature. What we have right now, and that's not too much, is still very rough around the edges. Is A2A just a hype or will it become a milestone? You decide. Drop a thought in the comments.